Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Robinson and I'm a pharmacist and a certified functional medicine practitioner with Synergy Chiropractic. Before I get into this video, I want to tell you about why I left traditional pharmacy for something radically different. I have actually struggled with health problems myself for really what seemed like my entire life. I was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease when I was only 10 years old and the effects of that were crippling. My skin and muscles were just horrible. And after trying to find a diagnosis and getting what I thought to be a cure, which was high dose steroids for a year or so, um, over the last 20 years, I've actually dealt with other things like allergies and PMS and infertility. And for so long, I just wanted answers and I just wanted to feel better. And I'm now in my 30s and I'm finally healing through functional medicine. And it has truly changed my life. And I'm here to tell you that you are not too far gone. There is hope for you to be healthy and to feel like yourself again. In this video, I will be discussing the importance of detoxification for healing autoimmune disease. Although it's actually a very important topic for overall health as well. We usually think of autoimmune diseases like psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, or even thyroid disease, but much more research is finding evidence to suggest that an autoimmune component that there is an autoimmune component actually to other issues like osteoporosis, PCOS, endometriosis, heart disease, and dementia. And if you think about it, on a daily basis, we are exposed to chemicals and toxins in our food, in our water, in our air, and in our environment. And our liver is one of the main defense systems. So it filters blood pulls out toxins and breaks them down, then sends them out of the body through the urine or stool. So a small amount of toxins may be harm, harmless, but with exposure to too many toxins for too long, the body can actually sustain a lot of damage. Symptoms that might indicate a toxin-related illness include being tired all the time, having brain fog, just feeling puffy, headaches, muscle pain, and tingling in the feet or the fingers, and unexplained weight gain. So clearing toxins is crucial for optimal function as well as for healing autoimmune disease. Now there are several things that you can do to help your body detox on a daily basis. In another video, we discussed how eating an anti-inflammatory diet can help heal autoimmune disease. There are actually a good number of foods that enhance our detox processes, which is good news. So eating these frequently can support our liver and help our systems gently detox every day. These foods include dark leafy greens like kale, spinach, collard greens, Swiss chard and arugula, and other foods like onions and garlic and fresh cilantro and basil, rosemary, turmeric, cumin, poppy seeds, and black pepper. And also cruciferous vegetables, which are those like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and cabbage. And of course, try to buy organic fruits and vegetables when possible. Always eat grass-fed organic meat and eggs and wild caught fish. There are some organic herbal teas that can help with daily detox too. And some of my favorites have herbs like shisandra, dandelion root, milk thistle, rose hip, and orange peel. These are pretty safe um, in general, but if you're pregnant or nursing or if you have a serious health condition, it's always a good idea to ask your doctor first before you have those. When it comes to personal care and cleaning items, we are often unaware of the toxins that we are putting on our bodies literally every day, from deodorant to other cosmetics to toothpaste. And 
there are really a lot of items that contain harmful chemicals. And a group of these chemicals called endocrine disruptors act like hormones and they can interfere with our normal hormone function. Now, a more specific category of endocrine disruptors are called xenoestrogens, and these mimic the effects of estrogen. These include substances like parabens, phthalates, and BPA, which you've probably noticed on different labels that are trying to be green, that they say that they're BPA-free or phthalate-free. Um, these are commonly found in plastics and paint, oils, chlorine, bleach, and pesticides. Now, some personal care products have been found to actually have other high levels of chemicals like arsenic, lead, beryllium, and thallium. Now, what's the big deal about that? Hormones are involved in almost every process in your body, so you can see why these could have such detrimental effects. Some of these chemicals have also been highly suspect to increase cancer risk. Seriously, these are no joke. You'll wanna search for products that are free of these toxins as much as you can. There are a lot of less toxic products available out there, but it can be difficult to know if something is actually less toxic. They can be, you know, labels can be very misleading. So check the labels for things like paraben free, phthalate free, sulfate free, and fragrance free. Fragrances are another huge one that can be very harmful. Now, when it comes to reading the labels, I know that is such a confusing part. That was a really confusing part for me in the beginning too. Now, some labels might claim to be phthalate free, but they actually have other harmful chemicals that are even worse. So if you're in doubt about what ingredient is safe, do some research before you buy and avoid products that contain any of the following list, cocamide, DEA, PEGS, PEG-8, polyethylene glycol, and cocodomo propyl betaine. Now, products on this list are from plant sources and considered much safer. These include vegetable, coconut or palm oil, or starch, taurates, isothionates, glutamates, amino acid, sulfosuccinates. Now, the last part of the ingredient usually reveals the chemical family that it's part of. So just knowing that last part of what you're reading on the label will help guide you in your research. When it comes to the environment, we are exposed to numerous toxins as well. New homes can pose a threat, believe it or not, through new furniture, paint, and flooring. These often use chemicals like formaldehyde and flame retardants that can be very hazardous to our health. And old homes, on the other hand, can overwhelm our detox system as well. They can also pose a risk if there is mold in the house or if there was any kind of flooding or water damage. And they can also be sources of lead and asbestos. So even in our homes, um, you know, we come in contact with harmful chemicals. There's other things like insect repellent and paint and, um, you know, just our furniture, like I talked about prescription medications and even other household cleaners that we are using on a daily basis. So it's obvious with how much we come in contact with these types of chemicals that living a truly toxin-free life is really impossible. But there is a lot that we can do to lessen our toxic burden. And these suggestions are relatively easy and inexpensive. Now these are some really great suggestions that I've started to do myself. So you wanna replace plastic and stainless steel cooking utensils with glass or ceramic coated or cast iron. Always reheat food in glass containers rather than plastic or styrofoam. You can use chlorine free parchment paper for baking instead of aluminum foil when possible. Parchment paper is only good to a certain temperature though, so pay attention to that. Another thing you can do is avoid antibacterial products because they might contain triclosan, 
which is a cancer causing agent. You want to drink filtered water or well water as much as possible. You can add more plants to your living space or add an air purifier. You can also use an air filter in your HVAC system that filters out airborne particles like bacteria, mold, pollen, dust mites, and cigarette smoke. Another one is when you buy new clothes, you wanna wash them before wearing them. You want to remove your shoes as soon as you walk in the door so that you're not tracking around, you know, harmful chemicals and things into your house. You wanna use a vacuum with a HEPA, fil a HEPA filter and dust mop with a damp cloth as much as you can, at least once a week, I would say and use mite proof pillow and mattress covers okay so i know that was a lot that i just threw at you but pick one thing and start there preferably the thing that will make the most impact now i consider anything that goes in your mouth or touches your body to be a good place to start personal care products and switching from plastic to glass were my goals in the beginning. That was my area that I focused on. So just think about it like this. Whatever you can do to decrease your toxic burden, that is less work for your liver to do. And even small changes can have big effects in the overall balance. Thank you so much for watching and have a fantastic day.